Do you want to increase conversions to your landing page? Get ready for nine simple tips that will be the difference between converting your traffic and not. Driving traffic to your quiz or scorecard takes time, effort, and more often than not, money. But your quiz will only be successful if you can get people to take part. This is where your landing page comes in. And the good news is, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to create the perfect landing page for your quiz. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get our next video before anyone else. Your main headline is your hook. It's one of your most important parts of your landing page. And if you want more people to take part in your quiz, it's essential that you get this right. Here's how. Your quiz headline will be the first thing that your visitor will see. And in those first few seconds of landing on your page, they'll need to understand exactly what your quiz is all about. And I'm not gonna lie, writing your headline can be tricky. And you'll probably write a few versions before you decide on the final one. But here are some top tips to help you out. Make the quiz headline clear and simple to understand. Your main headline is not the time for fancy, fluffy language. People need to fully understand what your quiz is all about by reading your headline just once. And if they don't understand or have to go back to keep reading it, you'll lose them. A trick we like to use is sprinkling in some power words into our copy and the main headline too. Power words are words that grab people's attention. Examples of power words, discover, uncover, free, surprising, shocking, epic, powerful. For instance, let's say that you wanna call your quiz Financial Health Score. Imagine instead if you used discover your financial health score. That one simple word makes a huge difference. Oh, and another thing, you don't always have to use the word quiz or scorecard on your landing page. Controversial, right? Of course, often the word quiz works well. It sounds fun and interactive, but sometimes, particularly for some industries, other words may work better. Words like check, for example, get your financial health check. Report, for example, get your SEO report. Score, like get your LinkedIn profile score. Action plan, get your financial success action plan. Have a play around with these words, and you may just find that something works better than quiz or scorecard. Lastly, Make your quiz headline stand out. Make sure your headline is big and bold. You want someone to arrive on your landing page and read your headline before they do anything else. If you wanna catch someone's attention fast, make sure your main headline is the largest text on the page. That's your heading sorted. Now it's time to really sell your quiz using your subheading. Let's make sure that it packs a punch. Here's how to create the perfect subheading that gets people to sign up to your quiz. Tell people how long your quiz will take. A selling point of your quiz should be how little time it takes. People are generally time poor, especially when it comes to giving their time away for something that is free. So mention here how long it takes. Next, you need to mention that it's free. Oh, hello, free, did you say? It's always good to point this out. It may seem obvious to you, but it can grab someone's attention. So mention that it doesn't cost them anything at all. Next, in the subheading, you should give them one key benefit. Of course, there are lots of benefits, but just focus on one main one for your subheading. Let's see it in action. Using the example, your heading and subheading could look like this. Main heading, discover your financial health score. Subheading, in just two minutes, you can uncover your free personalized financial health score, which will show you if you can retire in five years or earlier. Bullet points give your website visitor a quick snapshot of the benefits of taking your quiz. You may find that you repeat yourself a little from what you put in your subheading, but that's okay. People don't read every word of your page like you do. In fact, studies show that people only read 20% of a web page. Here's how you can put together a simple bullet point section. Tell them what they'll do, tell them what they're scored against, and tell them what they'll leave with. And here's an example. Answer just 18 questions, which takes under two minutes. Get scored against the five essential elements you need in place to retire early. Get a comprehensive report, which tells you exactly how to improve your finances so you can retire quicker than you ever imagined. You see how this is shaping up to sound like a fantastic quiz? We want to take our made up quiz now. And we do that with a call to action button.
And here's the thing, don't just use find out more or click here. Yes, you might think to yourself, if it's just a button, then what's the big deal? But this button has to be utterly irresistible to your website visitor. The easier you make it to find and click on, the better. Here are some simple actions that you can do to make your website visitors click on your button on autopilot. Make it stand out. Make sure your call to action button is immediately visible. Make sure it's an actual button. Make it a bold color. Google optimum button color for more info on this. Use action driven copy. Say something that will really grab the interest of your website visitor. This could be get your score instantly or get my report now. Next, let's add a hero image. The hero image is the image that sits at the top of your landing page. It's the first thing that people see. It sets the scene and makes your visitors know that they're in the right place. Use them to build trust and credibility with your audience. The question is, what type of image do you choose? What about a stock image? Stock images are usually the easiest and quickest way to add visual elements to your landing page. There are a lot of free stock image websites that you can use, and even the paid images are still very cheap. It needs to be relevant and interesting. An accountant could find an image of a desk with a calculator. An architect could include a nice image of a house in the background. A web agency could use an image of a laptop in the background. Make sure it doesn't distract your visitor from the main focus of the page, i.e. the copy and the call to action. Try a quiz related image to convey what the text is all about. So you could show a report or a computer with a score inside it to convey the score element of the quiz. Show an image of you, build trust and credibility and put a face to your business. Show them the person behind the quiz rather than some faceless organization trying to get a new lead. But try different options or use our A-B testing to see what works best for advanced users only. Did you know that 72% of consumers say that positive testimonials and reviews increase their trust in a business? Don't just have a testimonial that says, I really enjoyed taking this quiz. Instead, get those who are providing your testimonials to outline the benefits. This could be something like, I finished the quiz with an action plan to help me save £500 per month. Use testimonials to increase trust with your audience, and more importantly, help increase conversions. Key tip, make them about your quiz and not your company. All they want to know is whether this quiz is worth their time and effort to justify handing over their contact details. Let's talk about bonuses. The quiz might be worth their time, but what else is it worth? Have you considered adding a bonus for people who take your quiz? You are giving even more value, quickly building up more trust and credibility. You want your leads to know that the bonuses are valuable and beneficial for them. And did you know there's a right way and a wrong way to do this? The wrong way? Get a free bonus when you complete this quiz. This is vague and doesn't really feel valuable or helpful in any way. The right way. If you take the quiz today, you'll receive a free copy of my book, which is worth £20. This book will help you too. This makes it sound super valuable and beneficial. And they might even be more interested in the bonus than the quiz. Oh yeah, one more thing. Include an image of the bonus. It'll help. Now it's time to get personal. Quizzes are brilliant because they give you so much data, but people are aware of this and are sometimes reluctant to answer questions from people that they don't know. Including a bio that explains who you are and what you do is a great way of breaking down the barrier between you and your website visitor, increasing trust and credibility. Don't make it too long and make it relevant to your quiz. The fact that you climbed Kilimanjaro in 2007 may not be relevant at this stage. Lastly, let's go for the ultimate trust building device, your awards or places you've been featured. Just feature logos. There's no need to talk about this at any length. Simply include the logos from the awards you've won or places you've been featured, such as the BBC logo, and that's it. Turn it live and send some traffic to it, and remember to test it too. With all these tips in place, you'll be converting that traffic into toasty, warm leads.